Hey everybody, this is Impact with Let's Play Quest on Full Moon Island. As usual, as always, as eternal as the sunset in the night. We all grow old some days. And every time we grow old, we start to lose the colors of the world, the vision that was once something that guided us. This is one of the most eye-pleasing levels of this hack. The music goes very well with it. I don't want to quite die yet. Oh, that was not good. If I lose both capes, then I am doomed. You're not quite seeing what I'm trying to do, but that is because you are not the one playing the ROM hack. Maybe I can get up at a different point. I'm not too sure about it. Now, what I don't understand is why Mario is not in the shadow. For this is an obvious aesthetics thing that you could see in games like Donkey Kong Country Returns. There was levels like this, where everything was just a silhouette. But. It still begs the question on why Mario was not made a silhouette for this level. It couldn't have been that hard, could it have? I've seen other ROM hacks do things such as that. Oh. I really can't get loud when this music is playing. It, It's very calming. Oh, this is going to be a tricky jump indeed. I almost completely screwed myself there. Oh no, you don't, game. Looks like there's no more platforms or something didn't spawn, so I might as well try for this. Na 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 and sadly, it is over. Our peaceful interlude is done. And of course, where there is peace and rest will, you know, ensue, there is dreams. Dreams we all have, all share, fantasies that we all obsess over and create fetishes out of. And magic. Magic is always in the air. And science, because science is magic. If you really think about it like that. Oh, well, look, a farmable feather that's really close if I can beat this level. I would love to keep farming my feather here. I don't know where this music's from, but it's, it's quite enjoyable. There's ice physics, sort of, no? Oh, then that's just me sliding around. The land's translucency pretty much represents how fantasy is only semi-tangent, and it really depends on the person. Just like that halfway mark, it really wasn't there. It's in a video game, it, it's nothing of real life importance, yet it's important to Ku in that way that it's going to probably save his life. That's a lot of Koopas. Unfortunately, like most dreams and fantasies, they're short-lived. Mm, only if this level was a little longer, really. It wouldn't hurt it. Or I, I don't know if I skipped over most of the content in it. <sighs> and then, the cold hand of death grasps everyone that lives. Now this looks like a familiar sight. If I remember correctly, this is going to hurt a lot. Whoops! Oh no! Go back before it's too late, Mario! Go back up! And it's raining blood, so this is just, you know, shed dot move. Ah! And that's lava. Well, how fun! This shall not be a challenge at all. Of course I say that sarcastically, because this is going to be a pain in the ass. Anything with auto-scrolling is a pain in the ass for Koo. Look at all the people and all the bullets that are going to try and kill me. Oh yeah, whoops. 
course, when I start to try to sing along with the cool cave story music, I get derped by the controls, not by anything else. Ugh, like I said before, and I'll say it again, uh, Mario in this new sprite set's kind of slidey for no reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm gonna make a state there, you know. No need to prolong this forever, because it's already gonna take the rest of the video to beat anyways. Especially since I did that. And that. It's like, I should have switched my car insurance to Geico so I could save more money. Whoa. Holy crap, the random bullets. Wow, that was also not necessarily close. I did not need to jump like that. Whoa, uh, how? Duh. Like, my, the foot of my sprite touched them. It looked like I cleared them, at least. Man, the blood rain really obscures everything in this level. It's a little bit straining on the eyes with the gradient in the background. I mean, if it was lava rain, shouldn't I be dead technically from the start? Ah, oh, what? Oh, woo, I was about to say. Was we just gonna go into another part of the level? No, it's just a boss fight. Well, this guy, he's just another, you know, mega boo, big boo, whatever. His difficulty comes from more hitting his ass, because there's a good chance you'll try to jump, to like, you'll try to, eh. Uh, You'll try to drop the block on him, like I just did, and instead of hitting him, it'll hit the corner of the platform. Which, you know, really sucks, because it wastes the blocks. You need five of these blocks to hit the Big Boo. Which is kind of a chore, but I think you can do it like... <sighs> Don't make faces at me, little boo. You've seen that too, he went... <laughs> Damn it. See what I mean when I said that there's a chance that the block won't hit the Big Boo? And that's what the hell I was talking about when I said the block won't hit the Big Boo. It's really quite annoying. But I mean, that's the challenge of this. The challenge is not the Little Boo, nor the Big Boo since he can't hurt you, but the block throwing. Eh. Meh? I'm not sure, like... Wow, that really just happened. I'm not a fan of big boo fights because of this very reason. They tend to stretch themselves. Because he takes forever to do his intervals and go back to where he was. and It's more pick him, picking up blocks, putting them places, and it just takes forever. He's also he's taking a lot more hits than I thought. I mean, I know it's gotta be five, unless it's all six. And this little boo, ugh. I was, I swear I was about to fall in the lava there. It was not pretty. Yeah, the thunder's getting to me. The background thunder is, oh, it, what? 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 Huh? Did you say I see that? The game just froze up. Is it because I was... That's the lava coup. Was it because I was in midair when I hit him? No, it literally did that. Oh, what the... F oh, you... F you're, you're kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. What the hell? Bug, I call cheats. Like, look. The music's playing normal, but everything else just froze up. And my emulator controls are working perfectly fine. This is bullshit. Hold on. I'll fix this. Somehow. Okay, I'm back now. That took 45 minutes. For no reason. I don't know what happened. I swear I don't know what happened. Yes, I... Uh, look, I spent 45 minutes on that boo trying to get him to spawn a door. Shut up, game. That was an, a really odd bug that just happened. I don't know what it was that caused it, but it didn't do that the first time I played through this. And of course, once you're dead, you're dead. 
you go to your eternal rest forever and ever. And this has been Quimpact with Let's Play Quest on Full Moon Island. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Next time, final boss. The final battle, the final frontier. Death. That's what happens to everyone who dies. Or when you kill people, they die. Yep, exactly. So, see you guys all next time.